stuff I usually pick up on is when you're in bed and you hear animals running around. That's probably the biggest thing, is just being part of something bigger than myself. You know, it's quite easy to visit these places, camp for maybe a day or two. But for me, I miss the fact that when I'm out for a long period of time, I become part of that. I kind of went down the road of learning all these primitive skills, the very same things that our ancestors were doing tens of thousands of years ago. And, you know, the same smell I get from making a hand drilled fire is the same smell they smell. So these are all the bits of flint I found. And all of these are about 10,000 years old. I found all these pieces just in the base of that tree for me to, to be able to come along and find this and have, you know, that physical connection with someone that old. It's quite incredible. Yeah, it's, it's almost like an omen. But, you know, to come come here, build this place and find this, what are the chances? Little things take up all your day and you're concentrating on that, working on that and you don't get distracted by everything else. You don't feel the need to be happy, you don't feel the need to be sad either but you're, you're just keeping going, you're keeping yourself alive and you're living day to day. Sometimes it can be a bit of a chore having to get up and get the fire on just so you can boil water and make tea in the morning whereas at home you can just flick on the kettle and it's done in about three minutes. It's a lot of work just to get that cup of tea but at the end of it you, you appreciate it. Traveled all around the UK. I've met incredible people and done some incredible stuff, and that's all as a result of having my life kind of kicked into reality. Seeing my best friend die totally out of the blue, and having that eye-opening experience that made me want to go right. Well, I've got to do something else. I can't stay in the same routine because one day it could be my last day. And my friend died doing what he loved. I can guarantee you, he went out with a smile on his face. Um, so I kind of thought, right, well. If I'm going to do anything, it'll be what I'm passionate about. With people, I'm engaged, I'm sharing everything I can to try and make their experience outdoors better. And I'm learning of them as well, that's an important part. I'm always learning. Speaking to people and sharing experiences, it's what motivates me to teach and to be able to share my passion because, you know, you're connecting with that person on a almost spiritual level. So, you know, seeing them strike up a fire for the first time or build a shelter that they then sleep in. You know, being able to give that to people and share that, it's incredible. That's one thing I like about kind of the modern world and the internet. 
is the fact that I can reach out and I can connect with these people and they can connect with me and we can share these skills that otherwise would be lost. Say spam! Spam! <laughs> 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 Haven't learned to play anything on it yet.